This is a CBS News special report. I'm Tony DeCopel in New York. The Labor Department has just released another huge set of weekly jobless claims. More than 22 million Americans have filed for unemployment since mid-March, showing the historic economic impact of the coronavirus. CBS News business analyst Joel Schlesinger joins us now. So, Joe, for four weeks now, we've seen a torrent of job losses. We're getting new numbers in right at this moment. What are they? Are we adding to that misery? Unfortunately, yes. Another 4.4 million Americans have filed claims. So now we're up at around 26 million Americans. Now, the numbers are tapering off just a little bit. It looks like we hit a peak in late March, early April. But let's be clear, this is a huge number of people. And already we now know, according to the Labor Department, 16 million people are actually receiving unemployment benefits as we speak. So these are just astounding and, as you said, really sad and awful numbers. So, Jill, some states are beginning to think about reopening some businesses, at least, and the White House would like to suggest that we could see a so-called V-shaped recovery, steep downturn, rapid return. Is that still on the cards? You also hear about a W-shaped recovery. What's the difference and what's it looking like? Well, let's talk about V versus W. So a V, as you said, we would be going sharply lower, then bounce from that. I think that that's a little ambitious. What a W really means is that you have a sharp down, a slight up, and then data turned down again. It's also known as a double dip recession. And here's the fear among economists, that if we go back too quickly to work, that we are more likely to see a second leg down. And what's really critical about a second leg down is that it's harder for consumers and businesses to come out of that second leg. We are obviously human beings. We get excited or optimistic when on the way up, we get downtrodden on the way lower, and that can really stall an economic growth period. So we're worried about going to back too quickly. There's a report among a bunch of Federal Reserve economists that went back to the flu of 1918, and that report has found that those municipalities that actually had tougher rules about going back to work actually emerged better economically over the long term. So maybe 100 year ago history might be well worth revisiting today. All right, Jill, thank you very much. We now have five weeks of coronavirus related jobless claims and they total roughly 26 million Americans. Cumulatively, the unemployment rate is estimated in April to be about 15 percent. To find a rate that high, you have to go all the way back to the Great Depression.